Hey, Steve from BNH Photo here at NAB 2014 with Jesse of Sound Devices, and he's going to show us the PIX 270i. The PIX 270i is brand new this year at Sound Devices. Uh, it extends our line from the PIX 260i. Uh, the 270i is a 64 channel audio recorder that can also record uh, video in ProRes or DNX HD codecs. So, how many channels of video? It's just one? One channel of video up to 64 channels of, of audio. It can record that up to f on up to four drives. Okay, but Jesse, I see room for two drives. We have two drives behind the LCD, and then we have two eSATA drives uh, for any external eSATA en enclosure. We can record uh, on these drives sequentially for extended record times or simultaneously for instantaneous backing up of files. So Jesse, is this a portable device that you got here or? This is specifically for rack mounted applications, whether it be a sound cart, video rack, permanent install at a broadcast facility. Uh, it's uh, 2U and half rack. So. So we have the PIX 270i here at the front, and just so you should know that this is the back of another one, so Sound Devices is showing you what the front and the back looks like. Why don't you tell us about some of the new features of the 270i compared to the older model? Okay, new to the 270i is our MADI I.O. Uh, so on top of being able to record 64 channels of audio, we can input and output 64 channels of audio over MADI, uh, and we also support the Dante audio over Ethernet protocol. Um, so we can input MADI, output Dante, uh, full conversion of these inputs and outputs. But it's is only up to 64. I can't do 64 on MADI and 64 on Dante, can I? Right. We can take any tracks on the Dante network or any of the channels coming in on our uh, MADI input and record those to any of the 64 tracks. And those 64 tracks are embedded within a QuickTime file. Uh, so when we import these into any uh, NLE. Uh, they show up as their, the individual using, tracks. Using ProRes or DNX HD. Correct. And what are the input formats that I can take, that this can take on video? Uh, video, we have HDMI and SDI input. It's a 3G SDI, so we can take uh, RGB 444 video inputs from cameras that support that. Uh, and also, conversion between these inputs outputs is supported. We can go in HDMI, out SDI and, and vice versa. So it's nice with the cross convert. So Jesse, why don't you tell us about the hardware scaler that's built in? Right, this has a hardware scaler and frame rate converter, so we can input any resolution or rate over HDMI and SDI and record that at a different resolution and rate, even if that rate's not supported by the camera. So, the so that scales before you record it? Right, so the benefit of that being, uh, if we're on a multicam uh, production, and we're shooting at uh, different rates, we can use the PIX 270i's to convert that to a standard format. So are we supporting 24 frames per second also? Yep, it'll do um, 24 if it's receiving that rate. You can also record 23976, uh, 2997, all the NTSC and all the PAL rates. So. I'm really glad you said 23.976 because it's the real frame yeah. rate. Then I also see a couple of power inputs here. Right, we have two power inputs, so should power input be lost on one, it will automatically and seamlessly switch over to the second one without any interruption in uh, recording or playback, so it'll, it'll do that seamlessly. Should power be lost in the second one, uh, we have the power safe circuitry. So it will revert to its internal battery, close the file, and shut down, so that eliminates any possibility a file corruption or loss due to instantaneous power loss. I really like that feature Correct. because things happen. Batteries run out, cables die, somebody trip over it. Exactly. What I find is interesting is that this, it's a rack mount device, but it's obviously meant for location because it's got DC inputs. It's not a plug in 120 volt. Right. You won't need any AC to DC converter. We can plug uh, DC power right into this anywhere between 10 and 27 volts and it will uh, work perfectly. Jesse, I think it's a really fabulous device, and I appreciate your spending the time with us to go over it. Thanks a lot. I'm Steve from BH Photo, and we're here at NAB 2014. Thanks for watching.